Hey, 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 how are you guys doing? It's Zati Leon over here, and yeah, we're back to the game Life is Strange. And uh, we still have many more stuff to go on here, and let's keep on going because, you know, we, we're bound to finish this game anyway, so let's go. Right? Yeah, it's been a long time since I come back here, so <laughs> I almost forget about it. I ha almost forgot about I have to also finish this game, so let's go. I even Previously I on Life is Strange. Whoa. Okay, good thing I finished the previous episode so we can start. Who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with? Don't ever touch me again, freak. So basically we just start a new episode and and everything like that, so it's pretty cool. I I think I remember that the last time we actually go back in time. Let's talk about your superpower. And we change a lot of shit. What and, are you doing here, Max? And Koi becomes Don't come near me. Not now. A vegetable, I guess. Because of I know, you know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Our actions. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, Stelm and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Yeah, so basically, Chloe just, you know, everything's changed and then she become disabled she doesn't walk anymore she doesn't have her legs i think so man yeah butterfly effects is totally a brutal man You know what I'm afraid about this game is like, you know, it has all its soundtracks and all, and um, we can play the game as it is, but we, you know, we, we will get copyright claim, you know, by multiple music company. <laughs> and it's awful, but what can we do? Because, you know, we want to play the game. We want to share the game. There's nothing much we can do about it. Episode 4, Dark Room, okay. Look at the scenery, it's very beautiful. But, we have... You know, a pair of friends... Who, I'm not even sure are friends, because there are a lot of shit that happened. Uh, look at all those dead wheels though, okay, that totally take, take us out of the... Ah, you know. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. 
But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Car? So, do you blame William for this? Even after I... If that, uh, even after we change everything for you? Oh god, but I don't think she remembers that we changed those things. We don't talk about the accidents, maybe let's don't talk about it, but do we... Does she blame William? You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you... remember everything? I saw... everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh god. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? What missing girl? Rachel? Because, you know... You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, you think. Don't say that. Don't don't be so pessimistic, Chloe. I mean, you were you were such a bitch, but you were not really that well, actually, you were pessimistic. So, but, but, but... Okay, let's just, let's just go on with the flow. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So Chloe actually is a little bit different from what she was before we changed the timeline. Well, actually, not change, we hop into a different timeline. If you, re if you really, like, take consideration of how universe work, no timeline is ever erased. You just, you know, send your consciousness into a different timeline that you have chosen, basically. But it will look as if that you have changed something, but you just hop into a different timeline when things turn out differently. Well, if you... If you believe in, like, parallel universe and how actions can, can divert 
your actions can do, everyone's action can divert one thing to another in the two different futures and and uh, it's a pretty high they're all layer. different alternate Feels realities. Like high but I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Okay, now we got to move around. Water. Uh, that's a bracelet. Look. Water. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? There's the old Chloe. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. <coughs> Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Well, she was... Well, to be fair, in all fairness, you are all grown up. And you're adults. I mean, what can you do? You're, just, you're now basically like young adults, so you're adults. You're right, what do you remember? Seems like yesterday, yeah, yeah, the last time you were... Okay, let's just go with Flo. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, <laughs> even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Friends. Well, you have me. Let's just say something that's really like to give you that aww moment, right? Let, let's go with that. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? They love you? Well, are they okay? Let's just ask a little bit more. I mean, it's been, well, in this timeline, it's been a long time since you last visited them anyway, so... Might as well learn to, you know, care about things. Are they okay? I mean... Are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing <laughs> my parents almost a million dollars a year. A million? Chloe. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. 
Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. All right. Um... That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Uh, where do you keep your fucking... Chloe? Um... Okay, I'll just have a look. And basically, at least we get to look at everything. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for That's Chloe. So cool. They're so great. I'm glad you think so. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Okay, so this is... It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see you smiling, to, to see your smiling soon, your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield, okay? Thank I wonder you. who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe just thought I'll drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately but that would change soon. I hope you are well. Well, at least you keep up to your promise and come over, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Okay, that is kind of an arsehole move. I mean... Snow globes are taking over. You know what's the cool thing? At least she looks cool. I mean, Chloe's I mean... message board since the act... At least, she, not, at least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. At least I'm sure she, that made her feel great. You know, at least over here she looks like you know a normal teenager ish. You know, she she has that normal teenager vibe to that. It's good. It's not like you know her usual um, moody oh, self. The snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Oh, DVD player. There we go. Uh, what? Search drawer? Yeah. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. So is this the one? No. Oh, man. Okay, how about here? Ah, there we go. <sighs> Here's the DVD. And then we use the DVD player. Okay. So are we are we gonna watch the whole movie with both of them? I mean, that would get me copyright strike. That would be very bad. <laughs> I know it's weird. I'm taking this whole thing out of. Okay, yeah, they they skipped the whole thing. Okay, that's good. We don't have to watch the whole thing with them.
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine, morphine injector? injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Morphine injector, okay. Uh, but I don't really think it's good that I would just mess with these things. It wouldn't be nice. Oh, hi, William. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Everything seems to be in order, like how it was. What? Come by tonight. Next, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walk out, walk away so fast, Nathan was worried too. If you wanna talk, hit me up, okay? Max, if you're mad, just tell me. Okay? Oh, over here, she and Victoria's are friends. Max, you busy girl? Avoiding homework as usual. I tell you, I'll help out. I'll help you up. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. You help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored a killer butt from you know who. Save me a bowl. Wow, she is friends with. Okay, the whole thing is different. All the texts are different. Have a very special 18th birthday, you're in doubt now, but. You still are a little go. Well, check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Wow. Wow. Taylor. What? Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets home. My stupid phone is about to die. So call me back. Naden. Yo, yo, Max, you around in the dark room, dumping shots for the contest. Sweet, so no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. So you guys are friends over here in this universe. Alyssa. Let's have a look. Hey, Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people and thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god, I was not so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. So you and Elisa, on the other hand, are not cool. Mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So this is like the September 20, 21st and the bills came in on the 5th of October. All right. <laughs> and then she took like 10 minutes to respond. No. 2:33 p.m. and then it took 30 minutes for her to not responding and then she responded right away. Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude, and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. Alright? You're not the only one, and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want to know, Well, we want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when I needed it. I, I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later, I have to go. Oh, so you bought film. 
course. Yeah, it it's a practical solution actually using film, but yeah, go digital. I mean, it, it saves you a lot more money, right? Don't pout, love you. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget the potter plan we gave you, but don't drown it either, mummy. How about Chloe? Can I say? Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. I hope. Bye. Hey, Chloe. Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just want to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Oh my God, it's still a long time. Like five months. Max is back. Blackwell. That is so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So yes, this is still my number. Cool, I've got a lot of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me; it's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. All right. It's a different universe. I get it. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So, what's on your mind? Um, Karen, Chloe, Joyce. How about Joyce? Being Let's... around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay, or is it? You mean the, the crazy weather? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit. Pardon my French, but all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce, my family. How about Rachel Amber? I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh yes,、yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah,、oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh. I don't even like to think about it. So now she works over there instead of the diner. Okay. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life, but she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at? Yeah. Yeah. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but、uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Jesus. Jesus. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon, boss. <sighs> wow. All right, the whole thing is different, indeed. Fucking different.
Alright, so... Ooh, wait. Okay, wrong button. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, her room is not entirely empty. God damn it. Jeez, this is emotionally crushing. Toys. No use toys? for toys anymore. I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and been sent to Salt Lake City. Oh, wow, that's so far away. To receive a new parking lot, you have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could send you a bigger check, but I, you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, baby. Yeah, because William is actually, you know, we, we, I don't know why, because the name William and Bill is interchangeable in, in English culture. I'm not really that, 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 that good at that, but... I guess we stopped growing up together. You guys can, you know... At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? And in fact, staying here in this reality might actually be good for you. I mean, you know, you, you have more friends in this reality, right? In this realm, not so bad, really. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. <laughs> All right. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Hey, Joyce, do you know you're around? Ashray. Ashray? Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. And now she smokes. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Oh. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. William still the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Okay. How about you? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. A lot of work. David Madsen. They could have a... Let's, let's ask about Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. 
A lot of work, eco, havoc, yeah, whatever that's happening outside. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. She needs help? Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. So basically, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Alright, um, dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiration system is showing signs of rapid weakening. Oh, she's dying. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory, respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you to, as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of a changing condition if you would like to discuss this further. You have my contact information. Wow. That is fucking brutal. Fucking brutal indeed. Oh yeah, we had to come to the washroom. <laughs> um, where is it? The drawer? Yeah. Nothing here. No? How about up there? It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. <sighs> Alright, morphine it is. Um, what? Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Eight thousand dollars. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Oh, she could die. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. 
Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Uh, lift her, medical ventilation. Okay, there we go. So Chloe has her own photo album. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. That's a serious heat lamp. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Oh, I have to manually turn a page. Okay. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, oh, she it's knows. only getting worse. She knows. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. Oh, God. So, I know I'm just <sighs> putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. You want her to kill you? You want Max Caulfield to kill you? You want your best friend to kill you? This is stupid. It's it's stupid. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, of course, it's inevitable. You, you would die very soon, but you don't have to die now. Who knows? Maybe in a month or two, maybe there is going to be a cure. Don't forget that doctors are not giving up on you. They haven't given up. I believe... At least there should be one medical staff over there that's still working very hard to make sure that you recover. You, you, you'll you heal one day, maybe. Just don't give up hope. The important thing about, you know, all my life is like, for me, is about hope. You know, if I, if I accept, that means that we would have killed her. And also, Max Caulfield would have to... Well, she can just look at a picture and switch her consciousness into a different timeline. But then, the Max Coffee of this timeline would have been caught in a massive biggest piece of dilemma. She would be accused of a crime and, you know, she would have lost everything. I don't know, because it's awful. Chloe, 
I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. Yeah, we did. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. No, it's not the same. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Oh. Really, you want me to consider killing you? Are you stupid? Why? I mean, you know, she turned back in time just to give you your dad back, and now we have to kill you. We have to end your life right here. I don't think you should. I don't think you should. But whatever. You're you 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 you're mellow as it is, and in, if you insist, fine. If you insist, and you have a point because you cannot do things on your own. You cannot even end your life if you want. If, if even if you want to, you cannot do any decision for yourself now. And you know, you want to because she wants to take control of her own life for just this one moment. So this is a little bit different from what happened before, right? So so her friend before that she was in depression and then she was mentally unstable and she wanted to jump. And over here is like she's mentally stable, she's perfectly sane and she knows what she's doing, but she couldn't do it. The other one is like she couldn't control herself from being feeling the hopelessness. Right, so she wants to give her hope. In this case, she's already in the hopeless situation already, and she's her only hope is to help, to give something back, you know, because her parents are in a very hopeless situation, and and she's in a very hopeless situation. So she wants to help her out. So maybe we should accept. I mean, you know, but the only downside is if. After Max Caulfield, she hopped right back into her own timeline. The Max Caulfield in this timeline would be very, very much in trouble. So, yeah, that is gonna be an issue here. This is going to be a huge issue here. The logical answer is refuse. Right? The logical answer is refuse. But I'm thinking that. If this is what she wants, and as her best friend, best friend, right? Best friend, so. But best friend should do whatever that's best for everyone, for, for her best friend. The, the, a proper friend would have helped her friend to go with the logical answer. Not with a more emotional choice. You don't make choices like this with you know using emotional state and in fact right now she's emotionally unstable at the moment so no go with a logical choice yeah you know you don't give up you have to fight to the end you know you don't give up life like this you know think for your friends your parents your parents have been fighting on they have been holding on this long for a reason right so if you want to die you have to discuss Talk with your parents. Talk with them first. You know, when everybody understood where you're coming from, I believe they will respect your decision. But not. You're not supposed to die in privacy like this. No. No. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce. And William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. 
You will. Right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. You know what, you know, but at least, right now, at least she's alive, and at least, you know, maybe she and Chloe are on bad terms right now, but at least, at least, I'm just saying at least. I'm right? sorry, William. Don't be sorry, because you're just hopping, you're just hopping into a different timeline. He doesn't die. You know, he doesn't he doesn't die in this timeline, you're just hopping right into a different timeline, that's it. It's not really that much of a difference. Uh to focus Jesus, this is uh Okay, rotate R and R until we find a sweet spot. I got it. Uh I got it, I got it. This one here has to be here. Uh, here we go. Around there, around, 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 around there, okay. Man, okay. I think this is clear enough already, isn't it? Do I have to rotate more? Okay, here we go. Uh, this is harder than it seems, man. Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, uh, there we go. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh, this is so Max, sad. you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always. And this timeline is gone, right? Yeah, you just shift, shift right into a different timeline.
Yeah, there we go. Now we're back into the the, the the original timeline that she came from. Here we are. So basically, yeah, it's the same room with all those Chloe, you're garbage. Back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high. But thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Oh yeah, they were in uh, that, that... Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Well, I think... Well, so far everything is okay and I'll just want to... Yeah, let's just... let's just stop here. <laughs> I mean, it's so much... there's so many things that like, it's a train wreck of getting information. Getting lost in all this shit. Um, yeah, I'm getting, all, I'm getting lost in everything here too. So let's just do this in the next episode, alright? The next time, when I remember to play this game. All right. So for now, let me just um yeah. Let's just stop from here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. You can click away now. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, of course. And remember to click like, you know, on my video if you like the video. All right. Uh it it, it means a lot to me. Bye-bye.